520 years ago, the funeral for the Spanish queen, Isabella the Catholic, took place in Rome. The entire pontifical court was present. During the funeral, the ambassador to the emperor at the time reflected on the qualities of the influential Isabella the Catholic. El recordaba he recalled in that document the first page of which we have here with us, how Pope Alexander VI had granted Isabella the title of Catholic Queen of Catholic Kings. He defined her as the new Saint Catherine, the new Saint Helen, praising all the virtues that she, as a Christian and as a ruler, had. To commemorate the anniversary of her funeral, a delegation went on a pilgrimage to Rome, where various events were held in her honor. But another reason for the delegation's visit was to support the ongoing beatification process for Isabella the Catholic. As long as the dicastery does not communicate to us that it has decided to close the cause, we consider that it is open and we express our desire to be able to collaborate. And if we have to offer some kind of study of complementary information, of course, to make known also what we are seeing, what we could call devoutness, then we can always make it known to the causes of saints. The National Church of Spain in Rome is closely linked to Queen Isabella. In the temple rest popes like Calixtus III or Alexander VI, who was the one who obtained the pontifical dispensation so that Queen Isabella could marry. For this reason, the members of the chapter of noble knights and dames of Queen Isabella made the following gift to Rome's Church of Santiago and Montserrat. We have procured a bust of the Queen in bronze, which we have taken to the Elizabethan places in different parts of Spain, and we have also brought here, precisely to the church where the funeral for Isabella the Catholic was held 520 years ago. At Pope Francis's general audience, a Spanish archbishop gave the Pope a gift also related to the Queen, hoping that someday Isabella the Catholic may become a saint.